Bottom of the barrel, hey. bottom of the barrel, cause hey. the barrel is only hey. two small. We are on. We're on. Welcome. Uh, bottom of the barrel, uh, live out of Austin. Austin, Texas, baby. Ooh. We're joined by uh, a good friend of ours. Yeah. Uh, someone who's been on the pod before, Nat Rogacheski. Nat, good to see you, man. Chin, chin, boys. Friend, friend of the pod at this yeah, point. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Cousin of the pod, yeah. almost. You're, you know, fr- you're a friend of ours yes. now. Yes, you yes. used to be a friend of mine, and now you're a friend of ours. This is yes. your third time on, and you've never once been requested to come back. Really? We keep having you back. That, see, that's <laughs> that almost gra- more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost more impressive. Here's the thing is, with those comments, you kind of have to read between the lines. Yeah. <laughs> so when they're like, who is that guy? What they mean is like, who is that guy? That's yeah. how I read it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the list of people we went through today before yeah. we landed on you. Holy fuck. Yeah, and then, yeah, the only requests we got were like on our 4chan page. And like, <laughs> and that fucking guy back. And it was kind of a troll. And we're well, like, all right. It's no. one o'clock now. You guys hit me up to do the show at 1220. So it's like, okay, first choice for sure. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> I was doing an incline chest press. I wanting to quit you know and, and then i get the text and i was like okay absolutely <laughs> this is a sign i have to stop working out mm-hmm. thanks for coming buddy. did a little Appreciate sprint you. on the yeah. treadmill for maybe half a mile and then just kind of and then right here, mm-hmm. right nice, right here. Dude. well we appreciate you being here for real glad to be here. yeah we just woke up really late and had nothing but last night we're like we need a guest for tomorrow and we're like don't worry we're gonna hang out with a bunch of comics tonight and we'll just get somebody and it'll all fall into place mm-hmm. and then we wake the- up we're like holy shit we need a guest dude we're going <laughs> Totally. in 20 minutes. Because I thought we'd be, you know, we'd be hanging out at mid and people would be running up to us being like, hey, can I get on your podcast? Yes. <laughs> and that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> because that's where that's where we would know you from. Right. The yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And so you ran through all the comics, then 1220 <laughs> comes around, you hit yeah. me up. I get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes mm-hmm. perfect sense. You were actually first choice, then we circled back. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. It was, yeah, for sure. No. It's who do you want to Put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> Put the, you hang it on the maybe yeah. hook at TJ Maxx. That's me. No, you're you're the old faithful guest. We're like, you know what, we can always count on that for a good podcast a good time a good yeah. laugh and you know last time i was down here too uh, you took got his, real serious yeah. you took i was his, kidding yeah. and now i'm like wow no, you mean all this yeah. yeah no no for real you're a really <laughs> nice guy uh, <laughs> all right fucking move on uh hell yeah dude uh, yeah, i yeah i was i threw up this morning i, I had really yeah you did i've been puked from drinking and i maybe once a year i do it and i guess last today was my day so do you guys kind of like uh pop the lid when you come down here is it like kind of vacation mode a little some days a little some days sometimes yes sometimes no depends how we're feeling it's but chris's birthday trip he's turning 40 yeah, yeah. hey so we're like that yeah. last night we we're like let's go you know yeah exactly so i was like cool. i'd much i'd much rather like fucking as is tradition your birthday's tomorrow so yesterday you got super fucked up. it's my birth week <laughs> 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 exactly yeah, yeah oh, i gotta yeah. celebrate this shit for a week now we got we're doing <laughs> doing vulcan tonight yeah. with uh the unsubscribe guys like the the gun guys says they have this podcast yeah. they're all like the biggest gun youtubers yes so naturally we go yeah naturally be our sixth appearance yeah. Sick, <laughs> dude. naturally they want some you know liberal canadians on there you guys are gonna help them make some school kids disappear yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice one. yeah we're gonna do bullet catch live Jesus on stage <laughs> fantastic yeah. fun. Doing, a, doing a bullet catch in a school is oh. a wild trick to do i mean that's the danger right there <laughs> where can you air that these days? is that all they were trying to do it's just a magic trick gone wrong yeah, it's just talent show. It was a talent <laughs> show. And- <laughs> yeah. He shot him to school. No, no. It was a bullet catch. Yeah, well, they didn't give him any love at the talent show, so he's like, I'll show you some real magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to prove the gun's real. Yeah. Or else yeah. the trick doesn't count, right? That's, so that's a good point. Sense. I, I kept seeing this, this uh, reel pop up. Blaine actually shared it, but it was this comic, and he's just like, he's like, David Blaine doesn't do fucking magic. He's like, he's just trying to kill himself. Yeah. And then he goes, he's either a really great magician or... Are really bad at suiciding. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, thought that was yeah, the funniest yeah. bit because that's all he does is shit. They're like, oh, he's going to die. Oh, never mind. He's at, they're rushing him to the hospital. So funny. Yeah. yeah he's like, you got to stick to dismount when you try and hold your yeah. breath and you end up in the hospital. <laughs> and he's like, count. I love magic. It's like, no, dude, yeah. you're in, you didn't do it. Like, yeah, you didn't stick to dismount. It resuscitate you. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Have, 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 you guys are kind of like both like quasi Blaine Posse at this point. Is that oh, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Sure, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, definitely quasi. For and, sure. and how, just broaching the waters here. How far into uh, tales have we gotten on the pod? No worries if not. We just uh, gotta cut whatever out. Yeah, we can cut whatever out. Uh, tales as far as as far as Blaine goes, I got a few stories that I probably couldn't tell on the pod. Totally, I've uh, heard them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off the pod, I scream it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. On the record, yeah. yeah, no, nothing, nothing too crazy. What uh, I do, what we I pinky do, promised. What I do is you tell me those stories. 
I put your name through a Wu-Tang generator, <laughs> and then I add it on to the, as I tell the story to everybody else. <laughs> so I tell your David Blaine stories as like a as steel Raekwon. pan killer. <laughs> <laughs> as perfect. Raekwon the chef. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so sick. Uh, there, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, I definitely can't tell that one. All right, yeah, yeah no, moving on. You just, uh, but I, you know, and then I got Copperfield stories. I didn't tell you about this because mm-hmm. I kind of, I kind of threw you a couple mm-hmm. stories, but that is that was one of the wildest times too. Mm-hmm. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It was there was some funny there was some funny bits. Um, you know, he oh he told you about the high pour. On one of the funny the image <laughs> the imagery <laughs> yeah. is just fantastic. I yeah. don't if that. Because I've told that that is like when I retell the story, that's like the the bow yeah. at the top of it of just a worker spilling high poured <laughs> seltzer all over the. Service are gonna like get the, fired. Dude, it was exactly that. <laughs> it was exactly that. And then they have to keep their composure, so they can't be like, "Oh fuck, no, oh, no. God, no." They gotta fuck. act like everything's normal. Yeah, because like I was sitting at the table, uh, and David was uh, right in front of me, and behind him was one of the servers giving him a high pour because that's how he likes his drink, and it's the only way he drinks it. And he was he was uh, he was high pouring, and the, but we were right on the beach. We we're like on a dock, so windy as fuck. Winds just pushing all of this seltzer or like <laughs> this mineral water onto his arm, and you can just see him like. <laughs> and David's not the wiser. I'm looking at all of this, and I'm like, this is wild. The Thank best. God they're not Filipino servers there, or else they'd have to sit on each other's shoulders. <laughs> <That's so short. laughs> of course, not high enough. Because I can't. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Get in here. Yeah, the high pour is wild. Uh, Welcome back, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's a, what a treat. Yeah. What a wonderful, what a wonderful surprise, too. Yeah, it's always nice. It is. It's uh, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful retreat. Every time we come here, we we just connect with like the dopest people in the world. That's it's like, do you guys have like a third Austin? Like, do you have like a Denver that you're also in on the rag where you're kind of For building up? For a minute up? there, we were, New York, we were LA. going to New York and LA quite a bit. Yeah. And then, you know, once the thing happened, we just stopped going back, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because like Magic Scene is always, I was actually talking uh, about this last night, but like Magic Scene's always followed the comedy scene really mm-hmm. closely in terms of where the hubs are. Yeah. The trends continue. Yeah, yeah. Like where they are. So like New York was the biggest Magic Scene like back in, you know, the 50s, 60s. Mm-hmm. And then it migrated to LA. Mm-hmm. And so it just kind of like follows that comic scene. And now Austin, there's nothing here. This is like, there's no yeah. Magic Scene here. Yeah. The, apologies to all the magicians in Austin who are listening to this, but yeah. I, I today I Googled like Magic Magicians in Austin to see maybe for the pod, yep. right? And uh, I, I just didn't recognize any names. No, Not, Houston's got some. Can't say and, if they're good or bad. I, I have no little bit. Yeah. I just didn't recognize the names. No, they're yeah, bad nothing against sure. these guys. I just don't know these. Yeah, guys. yeah. they're yeah. just <laughs> nobodies. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. these they're guys. Nobodies. Yeah. Yeah. And, Bunch of hack yeah. Yeah. pieces of shit. Yeah. Yeah. So is that like the vision building it up over here? No. I mean, you got the place. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I'm, even thought of it. I am yeah. so into what I'm doing. I. Like I, I'm a magician. I love being a magician, but I'm not into magic in that way. Right. I'm just trying to make myself the most popular I can be. You're enjoying. So I don't give a fuck. You're enjoying being creative through your craft. Yeah. Making a couple bucks. Yeah. Doing your thing. Yeah. yeah. But you have no intention of being like a mentor no, for the no. future. <laughs> yeah. And like I'm all about the audience response. So sometimes my show looks a lot more like a fucking prop comedy show mm-hmm. than a magic show, and I'm okay with that if I'm getting the response sure. I want. So like if but you know you can go see some magic and, and it looks pretty magicy and, and those guys they, they they do so well and you can build a community and I just I don't I'm not there yeah. I don't want to do yeah. it I don't want to do and it and there's something about carving out our own space as well like yeah. within the niche because like there's magic and then there's like quote unquote comedy magic yeah and that's just fucking hokey most of the time it's yeah. really bad it's a lo- it's a lot of what it was in the 90s just hasn't changed yeah yeah so it's just a lot of like rubber chicken wah, wah. you know it's yeah. really bad. Uh, so, you know, we're always trying to tackle it from more of a comedy side, yeah. from more of like an, maybe an edgier, you know, sure. sort of yeah. appeal to like the comic fans more so than like, you know, mom, dad and the kids. Yeah. Because that's most like it, it's fucked because every time we perform uh, it, where we're like, hey, in a comedy club, we're like, let's go. We got like a comedy magic mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. 18 plus is going to be it's going to get raunchy or whatever it is. Kids always seem to like infiltrate the audience because mm-hmm. parents are like magic. You love yeah. magic. Yeah. Your child, you love magic, and they bring the kid along, and we're like, "Hey, we got kids here. Like four kids. Like, yeah, we love magic. We're like, fuck. You had a kid. I had a six year old girl cry, <laughs> cry and leave recently. three minutes into the show last weekend. Last she Saturday. thought you killed a rabbit. Uh, no, she didn't even get to me. The host was still on. Thank God, I wasn't even on stage <laughs> yet. But like, they heard magic show. I got comics opening for me, 
And like they're just right right away like fucking on a wife in the ass or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. His grandfather's just like got his and I they I got a huge email and he's like it was, didn't say it was nineteen plus anywhere on yeah. the website which I'm sure it fucking did. Right. I'm like dude here I sent him a right away refunded his money and I sent a uh, a one minute video of me doing some tricks for his kid. Yeah. 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 And then I'm like please be happy and don't shut me out online. Did he dude. respond? Yeah. yeah. He was like oh my god that was so like thank you like he like I I definitely took the high road there. Nice. Yeah. Uh, even though I was like I huge think you move. should have read better dude. Fantastic but, uh, move. Yeah it was great I I, I but it was wild because we. Every that show killed so hard. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this girl was there. I didn't know she left. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, like the people who were sitting by there were like, <laughs> dude, dude, crying six year old. That's intense. It ruined That's the show intense. for about twenty people. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, that, that I like intense. the idea of being like an edge lord comic about. Like, yeah, I walked her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I walked that six year old. Yeah. The whole table got up. Yeah, <laughs> they followed her out. <laughs> That's a weird like dynamic that some comics like uh, enjoy. I mean, Josh really enjoys when I'm bombing that I get mad at crowds. Like he loves he loves if like or even if I'm doing well and one thing is not well received, but it's like a low stakes show in some brewery, and I'll be like, all right. I mean, I got. I guess you guys are fucking retards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's he hilarious. sees me. I I got mad at the size of a door. Yeah, he yeah. got mad at the door was too big. You guys just keep going. We're just gonna have doors here. Yeah, there, there, was, <laughs> there was like this brewery hall that we were both on, and the door was the length of the room, and it was a high ceilings room. <laughs> so whenever someone would leave, it was like a Willy Wonka <laughs> gates open up <laughs> every time. This light and pouring I in, and I just would not accept the size of this door. So at one point, when the fifth Perfect person gate. is, yeah, and I was. <laughs> like in one of those spots where like food is coming or like one person goes up to get drinks so the rest of the crowd is inspired and I wasn't like not having a good time I was like enjoying myself through the process but the door keeps opening and then I'm just at that point where it's like Something has to be done about the door, <laughs> and there's just nothing to do about it. You know what I mean? It is the door. But everyone's looking at you, so they're not looking at the yeah. door, right? You're the one who's seeing the door. You're like, like, why is there a drawbridge in the fucking comedy club yeah. right now? I'm like ready to complain to management about it. I'm like, we got to do something about this door. That's hilarious. For this, I can like, see a tick in his head. That's what I was laughing yeah. at. And then he yeah. finally goes, does this not bother anybody yeah. right here? <laughs> and I was like, I knew it. That's so funny. I knew it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of retarded, I got a game. Nice. And we'll play. It's a, it's a quick game. It's called Are You Retarded? Uh, you want to play? Yeah. All I'd right. Love so to it's very simple. See. Uh, cue cards with mm -hmm. words written on them. All you got to do is read them. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, what does that say? Ed uh, Cacton. All right. Awesome. What does that say? Ed, I was going to say education. But... Yeah, education, right? Okay. We'll try another one. Uh, what does this say? Main maintenance. Okay. Oh. What, does that, what does that say? Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Close. Uh, we'll try another one. Uh, maybe maybe we're just warming up here. Try this one. Kakizani. All right, awesome. What do you what do you what do you think? Uh, con um, I can't read. Con conscious. Conscious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Why are you? How are you not doing this? Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, you're really good at this game. Uh, <laughs> Is he winning or losing, Chris? We'll try. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't really. We, we don't, don't really have, have winners or losers that here. Makes sense. Uh, Everyone gets a gold star. Indianaspable. Yeah. That's what was I say? Indispensable. Indispensable, right? So. <laughs> and one more, almost. Yeah, almost got it. And one more. We'll try this one here. Esperance. There you go. You got it. You got it. What's that say? Experience. There you go. <laughs> and that was our game. That's pretty good, That's right? Crazy. Yeah, you both won and lost. <laughs> Josh, introduce yourself. They don't know who's on the mic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. halfway through the pod. Yeah. Shout out to this guy. <laughs> Uh, Josh Kawasa, yeah, run the comedy frequency. Nice, oh, man, that's where we great are today. studio, by the way. Thank Hell you. Yeah. I will also say, with Josh, as well as like any good producer who's also uh, a comic and funny, yeah, the like fifteen minute introduction is such a it's like such a nice surprise mm. for the listener. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless they're they're like fully integrated, but right. like I love when they jump in with yeah, the they fun. Go, huh? yeah. yeah, whoa, yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn, they got they got a funny Latin dad in here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> damn, what? Oh, you just doxed his ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> I think they figured it out. <laughs> Experience, <laughs> bro. Experience? He was getting mad at those doors, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting mad like at that door. I almost said conscience. I was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, they don't well, know. You would have won. I was, that yesterday yeah. when he was practicing yeah. this, I'm like conscience. Cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I don't know why I'm smiling. <laughs> well, the first thing I'd do if I had an extra hour of my day, I would be reading ad reads. I think reading ad reads for me really helps calm me down uh, sometimes when I'm feeling a little stressed. Uh, much like 
the folks over at BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? Um, again, just, you know, read ads. Uh, the best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help find what matters to you so you can do more of it. And that's true. Better therapy, better life quality, better help. So if you've ever thought about giving therapy a try, uh, you can try it with better help. What's good with better help is actually this, is that you can switch out therapists. Say you're not feeling the vibe of the therapist and the therapist is like, you know, you're just like, ah, you don't get it. You don't get me. Switch it out. No cost, no fee. You can do that. Uh, it's not a problem. So you can find someone who's just like a right fit for you. And because it's online, it doesn't matter where you are and it's flexible and there's all these things and you can cancel and all this stuff. So it's, it's really great. You should definitely check it out if you were thinking about trying therapy. So learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash barrel, B-A-R-R-E-L. That's betterhelp.com slash barrel today to get 10% off your first month. Uh, so you're supporting us, you're supporting BetterHelp, but most importantly, you're supporting your own minds. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash barrel. So funny. <laughs> I got, um, holy shit, speaking of ethnicity, dude, I got uh, this lady the other day asking me how white I am because I got I went for a skin treatment. You know how I got these like red spots on my face? Yeah. So I heard you get this like laser shit to like make those go away, right? Okay. So I go in for this laser. I didn't know you were self-conscious about that. I just drive me nuts on camera. Oh yeah, it's like it's annoying, right? All right. So I'm, like, I'm gonna get these fixed, right? I'm gonna start pointing it out now. Like I didn't even know that was. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, no, what you're talking thing about. That's bother me. Sick. Been there for like two years. So I was like, I'll, I'll get that fixed. All right, go on. So I go there, and the, and the lady's like, I never been to this stuff before, and she's like, um, how white are you? And I was like, pretty white. Sounds loaded. And then and then and she's not white, right? So I don't like. What this. was she? It's Asian. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm really white. She's like, your parents are white. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so your grandparents. I'm like, everybody's white. And then she's like, I'm like I did 23 Me. It's all uh, all Northern <laughs> Ireland, Brit British, 93 percent, <laughs> three percent Northern Italian. I'm like, I'm fucking white. And she's like, all right. I'm like, w why? <laughs> like, I was so worried to mm -hmm. ask her. And she's like, I just need to know for the settings. Like, I don't want to make you too white or whatever. It'll That's it'll so pull out whatever. But it. It was so uncomfortable. Can you imagine if you were the eye doctor and she was, or the face doctor and she was coming in for a skin exam? You're like, how Asian are That's you? That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, this yeah. must be so fucked. Yeah, you're like, you're like, how yellow are you? Yeah. Like, what, yeah. what the fuck did you just say to me? Yeah, well, literally. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I wouldn't have wouldn't work, wouldn't work <laughs> yeah. any other way. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, you do that job. Someone walks in. I'm like, ah, I gotta quit. I quit right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm, what do you mean I gotta ask it? I'm not working anymore. That. But you're just an Irish guy. That is the condition. The condition yeah. that you have just is being an Irish guy. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Like, well, th th these these things happen. I tried to like pop a pimple. I don't even ago, know what you're referring. I still away. don't understand. Well, no, what it you're worked really to. good. It worked really good. Like, I was really much redder for it. Well, go back and watch some of my videos. They drive me nuts. Anyways, <laughs> dude, I, I'm a vain guy. Were those the ones that I color corrected? Because like, I'll make you extra red sometimes. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Uh, no, no, it's just like, you know, I got my teeth fixed. I like to fix things, right? You don't yeah. care what you look like. I get yeah. it, right? You don't even shave. I'm trying to cover my face up with as many things as possible, if you haven't noticed. Well, yeah, no. It's yeah, I just need like one forehead tattoo and I'll That's be That's like a hangover move, though, right? Yeah. That's yeah. like a bit like the hood, the glasses, yeah. Yeah. letting yeah. it grow. Like, I won't shave if I like ate bad the night before. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, yes. I'm just like, I'm not exposing more neck <laughs> for anybody today. And it can wait. I don't care how itchy it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the move. If I could grow hair up to my eyelids, I would. <laughs> 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 just try to cover as much of my face as I can. Yeah. Yeah. That checks out. True that. I don't know. If listen, if you're trying to do anything, if any of you guys are planning any trips to Turkey, I'm thinking about doing it. Because it's starting to really You're like, thinking? Break are you are you thinking for real? Yeah. You well, got, I mean you got nice head hair. No, it's nice. You, you're now, starting to see it thin? Yeah, for sure. So and it's we're both on we've been popping those pills. We're both really, on what yeah. was it? Uh, uh, Hymns? Same thing. Yeah, Finasteride, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Are, like they, the, are they sponsoring Finestra? it? No, no, they sure should be. Come on, come on. get yeah. in. Let's go. Yeah, dude. She doesn't know who these guys are. That's the hell, yeah, right? No, no, it works good. I've been on for a year and a half. I've been on for like four months now. Yeah. But it's like, but it's like, it doesn't replenish. It no, just it keeps. It maintains. Sure. Well, no, there's sixty percent of people say they see uh, regrowth, and uh -huh. ninety percent of people say it stops. I think those sixty percent have some like confirmation bias. I think it just stops you. Right. I've seen some. I've you. seen some pretty, pretty awesome images. I can't confirm or deny if they're AI. I don't see. It. It's just like. It's going for the back in, of here, baby. and then it's like you see, it's just getting. You got like, a good hairline though. Yeah, but it won't be for long. You'll do I, anything like, except lose weight. Dude, I was eh? cursing. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if there's a pill for that, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, if only.
Dude, I was I was in the gym heavy in you guys. <laughs> That's right. That one's on us. <laughs> You're trying to save the funny. I get it, man. Yeah. Trying, it's all going away. It's if, only, if only it was Epic grew the hair back, too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's a two for one pill they should put out though. I think a lot of guys would hop on that. Oh, for sure. And it makes your fucking makes your cum shoot loads too. Yeah, Yeah, it used to be a little one liner I have that is that my hair is thinning, which sucks. It's the only part of my body I don't (laughs) want thinning. (laughs) But. Uh, you know, dude, I was just on uh, Penn and Teller Foolish again, right? Like last Let's month. Fucking go. Did right? you fool Thank him? You. Yeah. Not this time. No. no what yeah. the take, fuck? Take that for fist first bump time. Well, you're like, you're like, I think you're two for three. No, two, uh, one, one for two. two. One for two. One for two. Okay. Fifty fifty. Cool. That's not bad. Yeah, should have quilted your head. Should have quilted his head. Yeah. Still got a good batting average. Yeah. But like, I did a trick where I ripped my shirt off. Yeah. And like, I'm not in my fittest. And I was like, you know, my buddy Eric tried to talk me out of it so many times. He's like, yeah. dude, that's not gonna. And then I, and sure enough, I take my shirt off and I'm on my knees like, oh, putting so back bad. together. I'm like, it's, it's just, kind of, yeah, they, he's on it. He's bent forward. Yeah, it's the it worst. Sag, they just like, put the yeah. censorship bar on. <laughs> Dude, I wish they put the censorship <laughs> yeah. bar on it. Yeah, Instead, it they're like, they're like, they like pan up to the host because yeah. uh, Brooke Burke's hot and I am in my grossest state. <laughs> and then, She's so hot compared to you. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone online is like, it's like, why are they, why are they cutting away from the magic? They're not. I swear to God, they're cutting away from my fat <laughs> Dude, half the audience thought he was gonna like start to make his belly talk. They were like, oh, he's gonna do one of those. I guess. It's like yeah. that. And like, do you remember that like uh, Chippendales audition sketch where it's Chris Farley, <laughs> Chris Farley? and Patrick Swayze, <laughs> yeah. and at the end, and the, at the end, what's his name? Kevin, whatever is like, like Chris, we've never seen moves like that. The heart is just amazing. It's just, the body's just not there. It's just, it's just so <laughs> bad. <laughs> the body's just not just, there. It's not crazy quite there. at the end of the sketch. It's on the full routine. So funny. So sick. Yeah, my buddy and I went like uh, dressed like that for Halloween once, and he mm-hmm. and he was a bit bigger than me, and I was like playing college basketball at the time. I was in really good shape. First person we see when we got into the club, couple of Farleys and no Swayzes. <laughs> And I was like, Whoa. oh, am I going to go the whole night like this? Yeah. Fuck. couple of Farleys is pretty funny, whoever yeah, said that. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it was a girl I was sitting on. Yeah, I've slept with a couple <laughs> Farleys back in my day, I must say. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, dude. slammed a couple Farleys back in my day. No biggie. Uh, no, a couple Bowsers. A couple Bowsers. A couple mini bosses. <laughs> hey, hey, Josh laughing because he know. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, man. Dude, welcome to Comedy Frequency, you guys. <laughs> this, is this is it, baby. We're in, baby. Yes. We're back. Here we go. And shouts out to Black Rabbit Comedy Club, Black Rabbit ATX, best shows in Texas. Right here. I right didn't here. even, yeah, I walked down here, super cool little spot. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you, I, you, you, you're here often? Mm-hmm. You do shows here often? Mm-hmm. You run stuff here? What kind of what kind of things you got going on here? What's the, uh, they, they do what's mostly, the format normally? They do mostly pure stand-up, showcases, stuff like that. Sometimes they'll have like a headliner, bring a few friends here. Nice. Smaller stuff like that. And then they have a couple. Now they're doing like variety shows as well. Great. Like I Lucas hit them McCrary up twice uh, and got Black ghosted. Rabbit? Yeah. I got. I was trying to get my show in here. I don't run the social media. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely fucking ghosted. Yeah. Well, so the dude is Your just Your audio like, is cut. Why, do you, why is it audio cut? <laughs> the dude who's really more involved with the organizational is the man, but he's just uh, a little absent-minded. The afraid of magic. I get yeah. it. Yeah. I That's think right. they would do it for well, sure. Well, you just booked a bunch of Heliums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're in. Um, yeah, I'm to in. like the comedy I'm stuff, into now. Comedy stuff yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I love. You it's, can it's reach so awesome. out to Cap City now. They're helium. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, right on. No, I, oh, I'm cool. here. I'm a Black Rabbit guy. Fuck Cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, that. Pop no, I'll silly go to Cap right now. It's fine. I don't mind. Yeah. I'll go anywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a hooker. I hear it's nice though. I hear Cap City is really nice. Like one of the one of the better ones as well. I've never been to Cap or what is it? East Austin Comedy Club. Never been there. Oh, rest in peace. Is it? Is it dead? Yeah, they're finding a new location. So the city showed up. The city showed up and was like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> they came. They came next door yeah. on like a complaint about some kind of compliance thing. Yeah, and they and it, they used to do shows next door, and then they bought the building or rented the building next door and did some uh, reno, a little under the table reno. Right, and they were like, "Hey, we're here for this," and they're like, "Oh, this you have the wrong address." And it was during South by. Ooh. They were looking for like unofficial stuff that like was not up to code, and they go, "Oh," and, and everyone who was working that night was like, "No, we this isn't the address," and they go. Oh, we'll just check it out anyway. Oh. And everyone's like, why? Why would well, yeah. I was like, <laughs> why'd you do that? They just looked around and they're like, listen, you guys are all right for now, but like I don't feel like this is good. And then just like we've all been following up and, and checking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know they even did that in Texas. Brutal. I thought you could just do whatever you want. Yeah, I thought it was a big live free state. Yeah. yeah, what the hell? But apparently yeah, there was a show, there was a showdown before all that <laughs> yeah. happened. 
<laughs> so the building they, inspector just challenges you to a duel yeah, in the street. Yeah, I'll see you in the street. <laughs> yeah, they took a wall down at one point, which made the room unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, some structural engineer was just see, in See, another the thing I thought Texans were against. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so if you're so, killing in there and you blow the roof off, it's not even that impressive. <laughs> no, it's coming down anyway. <laughs> it's literally coming down anyway. But uh, they took down a wall, and some structural engineer was just in the crowd, and he like took somebody aside, and he was like, hey, did there like, used to be a wall over here? And they're like, oh, were you here like before we took it down? And he was like, no, I just... Had a feeling. <laughs> wow. Just mathematically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just kind of vaguely looking around, and I was yeah. like, that's where a wall should be. Yeah, I'm going to stand over here. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple things, but, you know, we're looking, trying to yeah. lock it down. Every, cool. whole Kind of whole town's rallying together. There might be a GoFundMe coming soon. Oh, we'll sick. See. We'll see. Keep that's your eyes cool. peeled for that. I mean, that's the nice part about being here is that you got such a fucking cool community that just supports comedy, like, it insanely. Because we don't have that in Montreal. We're, in Montreal, I've got... Especially because there's like English comedy and then French comedy, mm -hmm. so those are completely mutually exclusive. So weird. So clubs will have, you know, English comedy. Other clubs will have French comedy. They mm -hmm. don't mix, right? Very, very rarely. Uh, except my buddies, he'll do like one night a week for an hour. We get English comedy and like one of the best comedy yeah. spots in Montreal. It's French comedy spot, yeah. owned by like five of the best comics in Quebec. Cool. And uh, yeah, they'll do like an English night, so we do that. But it's really hard to find like comedy because there's such this like weird separation like there's no community like that yeah. there's like oh those are english you don't want to fuck with those guys this is french so there is that yeah well I, they kind of like there's animosity like anyway yeah outside of comedy sure. there's like like french Drama. canadians and yeah yeah you know what's interesting to me? I was thinking about this. Yeah. I don't know if the you guys we feel... We have our Quebec Ty Rivera. And... <laughs> oh, do you really? Yeah. That's so funny. I was going to say it's yeah. the, the, the truth revealed part <laughs> duh. <laughs> uh, but I, I was going to say, I don't know if you guys feel this way about like American accents, but I was noticing this recently. Neither of you guys really have them, but like those like crazy like Highwayman Toronto accents oh. and the pure Montreal accents are mm. two of like the bungiest, like gnarliest sounding accents Can you on give the planet. Us, uh, an example. Well, I was like, I've been obsessed with like Dune 2. Yeah. Like it's I can't wait to rewatch it. And it's so sick. I'm watching all the making of stuff with Denis Villeneuve. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's the accent. Uh, uh, uh. And then he's like, and he's like, so much car, car, and it's like, so <laughs> I'm like, dude, it's taken away like any attractive part of the yeah, Canadian so accent. Unattractive. So when they <laughs> when they apply those same like like nose up like snooty attitudes of a, a like a Parisian yeah. or something like that, I was like, dude, you sound like dog. But shit. they don't. Yeah. 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 You, you're you're a silly sounding man. Yeah. You know they they I mean? misplace like, the uh, the emphasis. Yeah. The emphasis. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll they'll hit they'll hit you with an H when there's no H. Yeah. And they'll take the H away when there is one. Uh, and and so then they brag about their bagels. It's like they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> they're okay. They sound like the we Blair have Pitch, the best a bagel. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. And you're like, Ugh. yeah. It's a gross. It's a gross accent. Uh, French Canadian, like Quebecois, mm -hmm. is not a sexy language. Mm -hmm. It's it's French, but it's like yeah, boonie. It's a sort of French. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rapey language, not a sexy. Yeah, language. it's it definitely is. It definitely is like put a bunch of pirates and prisoners. Yeah. And whores on a boat. Send them to Canada. Love Let it. them. You know, yeah, uh, they're build... the Australia of France. Exactly. And oh. then they build up, you know, that's what it was. Because you're not sending, you're not sending, you know, just your finest people on the first boat trip over. <laughs> you you're know, definitely sending anybody who's going to sign up for a buck. That's, you know? that's very interesting because the, the only redeeming quality of Australians is that they don't take themselves seriously. Right. Yeah. So they know, they're like, yeah, we're goofy prisoners. None of that. That's what yeah. their thing is. But then in Montreal, they're like, no, we're like, yeah, we're. We're French and like regal and racist. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. the same. <laughs> yeah, they preserve um, all things in their language. You know, they keep the their, their, their French is like older than France French. They mm -hmm. updated that, but in, in Quebec they're like nah. And they did that with all of their ideology. Well, it's funny because like the the premier of Quebec, uh, who's a fucking dumbass. Like this guy's just <laughs> he's a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> but he's because so uh, he's super separatist and no one gives a shit about this guy. He's such a crooked fuck. Yeah. And then he goes, he'll say shit like um He's like, yeah, we have to stop in French. He'll say like, we have to stop using anglicisms in our language, like mm. because they'll they'll use English words, sure. you know, and supplement them like they do in France, like sure. they do everywhere in every country. And he's like, because uh, and he he uses the word and he goes because it really isn't cool. And he says cool. He's speaking French. He oh says cool. Oh, you're just a fucking idiot. You're so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Guy. And everybody in like the house or whatever it was, they were all like <laughs> laughing in French. One of like the TikTok trends right now is like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that took me a second. 
Uh, it, it hit me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok trend right now is like there's all the it's it's actually like English people who get more upset about this, but English people get upset when like American people say croissant <laughs> and, uh, and not croissant, but yeah. then French people say bruni to say brownie. And uh, so there's ew, been this huge ew. TikTok backlash against the French and how yeah. many uh, words they've um francophiled. Yep. And it's like, dude, just it's okay. Yeah. It would we we can just we uh, can act within context. Is there any shipping? Moment. Yeah, like, uh, please, man. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I've also heard a rumor that part of the reason that um, Ameri- that French people come off as cold, I heard, I don't know if it's a rumor, it was some French person who was like, um, like, a lot of French people don't speak English. It's like one of the major countries in the area that's like, there's less emphasis in yeah. learning English. Yeah. And then they come here and they come off as cold, but really they're just embarrassed that they don't speak English. <laughs> yeah. The French people travel to other French speaking places. Yeah. So it's very funny. Like, I have a lot of friends who are like, no, I travel. I've been to Switzerland, France, <laughs> Belgium, <laughs> yeah. uh, New Orleans. Like, <laughs> like, Haiti. New Orleans. like they're, they're only yeah. doing like yeah. the French spots. And, like, I went to Haiti, went right back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but like, that's the thing. Even comics, they'll, they'll be like, ah, doing a European tour. And they'll hit the three. That's hysterical. Yeah. And mm. so, and they got a huge like and it's a to- totally different language over there mm-hmm. as well than it is but yeah they'll tour they'll do the quebec and then like my buddy mike mike ward do you know mm-hmm. this guy i'm not familiar so he got sued i probably mentioned oh, this yeah yeah, this but, guy I know yeah he was uh, 10 years in the supreme got, court like, over a, huge a joke podcast now right massive right, podcast right, right. you know a million downloads or whatever parades you know he sold out twenty one thousand seats for his podcast the bell center he had a guinness record after being sued after 10 spending 10 years in the supreme court over a joke Mm-hmm. That he paid with his own money to like, you know, he's like, fuck this kid. He made a joke about a kid who's retarded and fucking his mom just tried to sue him 10 years. Crazy. Canada sued him basically. Yeah. Because it's illegal to, it's a hate speech and all that shit. But. Yeah, you guys hate freedom. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't like it at all. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, I like, like the parameters. I need a little, <laughs> someone keeping me I get locked that. in. You Do know? you see recently what they did? No. What they're, they, they just, uh, with Trudeau's whole fucking team. By the way, like Trudeau, the only way. He'll get replaced is when he decides. Like that's like a dictatorship. It's very bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone, everyone makes fun of USA. They're like, oh, the gun reform and all these kids getting shot in schools. It's like, I'm sorry. Would you prefer mild YouTube restrictions? Yeah. <laughs> would you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a hop on issue, right? Like, no, is like the, it. it is, but there's a lot worse. They just proposed this one bill that uh, they can jail you for hate speech, right? And that's JP where, was big on Jared, Jordan Peterson was that was how, how he first blew up, yeah, like Bill H1N1 mm-hmm. or well, something. It was the misgendering, <laughs> yeah, like, like, it was the misgendering, yeah, that could, like lead you to prison time or whatever, yeah. But this bill would be like, Until yeah, the day it happens, be, I'm not gonna give a fuck about it. Until yeah. they put someone behind bars for yeah. it, I'll be like, all right, now let's talk. They did in uh, the UK. Yeah, I mean, a guy printed out. He printed out stickers, like bumper stickers, and that's where they caught him. It was like a loophole. It wasn't even hate speech. It was mm-hmm. because he made products with it. Mm-hmm. Is like they got his ass for two years in jail. But they Golly, weren't even that dude. hateful. They were like, uh, "Stop!" What was it? it Women was like, can't have dicks. <laughs> yeah, stop! Uh, stop black gang rapes, or something like that. Yeah. It was like, it, it, so you're like, oh, I'm like. Yeah, I suppose you want to stop that. Like, yeah. it's not a bad but, thing oh, to stop. Because, because but also, just stop uh, rapes. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, no, okay. but also, but it wasn't like it, you know, didn't drop the N word. It was, right. you know, and he had a bunch of these that were kind of like, okay, that's a bad take. Yeah. But it's not, it shouldn't be illegal. I can see it's in bad taste. Exactly. And he got arrested. Yeah. Two and years. also, like, the fact to, to think that, like, the social repercussion isn't the punishment. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, dude, there's, so, he's going to lose money in, in the long run, yeah. most likely. Yeah. Plenty of people aren't going to fuck with him anymore. He's get, like, there will be real repercussion. That, I think that's why they're doing it is because now there's an audience for it. Mm. And so, cause like Dude. you lean too far, right. You got a crazy audience now. Uh, and I mean, so that's what scares them on yeah. here. Like you kind of see it here. They're like yeah. freedom junkies yeah. that are like, what, but they, they kind of hide behind the, the first amendment to yeah. just say dirty things. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And it's like, I'm all for it if it makes sense. But like, yep. there's some people who are just like kind of waiting, like, they they think that the First Amendment is a tool put in place to push a boundary. Yeah, right, it's right, not. Right, it's yeah. like to yeah. protect it. Like well, those, we, like those we, guys uh, filming police stations and shit. Oh, like, <laughs> so I, I fucking love those guys. State. The, the amount of uh, <laughs> fucking Canadians that hide behind American laws because they don't even know. It's like. They True. Can't, can't. It's like a oh, first amendment. We don't got yeah, no freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, nope, 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 no, 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 no. You no, obey no. the queen, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah there's it's only a, one, it's one a place monarchy. To and yeah. the UK is easy to fix, man. I say it starts at the dentist. If you look nice, you'll <laughs> yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah. You know? exactly. <laughs> Dude, mark my words. My within the next ten years, there's going to be a, an American candidate, a Republican candidate. The part of his campaign is going to be like to set up like a Canadian refugee program, people seeking freedom against like speech laws and stuff like that. I it's going to be a thing. Tucker Carlson did like a the man. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I will say, just in terms of pure entertainment's sake, off Fox Tuck yeah. is is the man. Yeah, absolutely. he's so funny. I funny. see him on Instagram, and I'm like, yeah, these are this is better. He yeah, laughs like version. a rich little fat kid. Yeah. 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 He's like, <laughs> <laughs> when he gets his cake, and I'm like, "This is awesome." Who is pe- this guy? People talk about him as like this, like super hardcore. I, I, I think they're all actors anyway. You know, yeah. what I mean, there's no. I don't believe any anchor on like any major platform has a single like uh, I, I stock in it. No, you guys go crazy. Go, do your thing, dude. Pit, my mouth. But so he. <laughs> 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 dude, I'm just trying to kill God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zip. But. Uh, and then, then, and then Tuck gets off of Fox and immediately starts having all these more moderate ideas, right? He's just popping zins with the Nelk yep. boys and shit. And I had a joke about like how like people think he's like super hardcore, right? But he's been like super actively like uh, anti like Israel and That's stuff right. like that. And it's like, and the joke I had was like, which takes a lot less balls considering he's no longer in Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. like, but you know, that is really true. work ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, no, he's the bro. He's just like fishing. Yeah, he went up to Canada and did a whole tour, and he was just making fun of Trudeau, man, and fucking Canadians loved it. Mm -hmm. We all ate it up. We're like, yeah, you know, bring the guns here. We were Mm -hmm. all... Because they they even took away guns. You're not allowed to purchase a handgun anymore, and you can't... Like just period? or Period. And you can't uh, yeah. you can't sell yours. So the only way you can have a handgun is if you already had one. If grandfathered, you're like grandfathered in. in a gun, Damn, basically. Bro. Yeah. So all these crazy laws are coming out where it's like, you know, Canada used to be a refuge from America. Mm-hmm. Like you look at a lot of times, like when like the fucking the dollar or whatever it was, or or when when Trump got elected, we got a lot of well, I'm moving to Canada. It's like whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> we didn't ask for this. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are we just now an option? Also, yeah. Like, why were we not an option? We're an awesome country. What's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. And and now it's sort of like the tides have shifted where we're like, maybe we don't like Canada so much anymore. Yeah. It's, Canada used to be cool. It used to be a cool spot. Like weed's still legal. That's awesome. But I like, think you, I feel like the lot with Trudeau, you guys have, have been taking yourselves like much more seriously. He was cool at first. Yeah, because he, he was a young, young guy. Oh yeah. God, politics. Wavy hair, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to take a piss. I was just bored. Of yeah. I, just, <laughs> I, had, I had a bit where I was like, he's, he's just misunderstood uh, when he was doing like, uh, I was like, oh, it was in February. I was like, oh, February, Black History Month, or it's true to like to call it, uh, call it Halloween. Uh, and I was like, I was like, you know, I think he's just misunderstood. I think he was just uh, training for a bodybuilding competition, mm. and that's just like a deep tan. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's the bro that's who's the who's the like guy who's See like myself a, up. that's guy I like no, sorry good. Guys. Good. I'm who's, really sorry. Who's, yeah. the, who's the bro who's like um he's like a like a Republican front runner who's just like a like a, a Poliev. Poliev. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like really well spoken yep. and he just like bullies reporters yep. and shit like that. He's so eating an apple. Do you see that one? So he's just good. crushing an apple and he's like, Yeah. He's, he's like Fraser Crush. He literally he literally <laughs> he's just like you sound like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. I love that guy. Yeah, his uh his like uh debate um like tactics are like yeah. so fun and like yeah. re- and like barely has to ever bring any like data no, to yeah. the thing. He just makes you look he's like a smart Trump. He's like, Yeah, well, you're a fool. Exactly. And and well he's he, he yeah, he feels like a like a Jordan Peterson type mm-hmm. guy, you know what I mean? And like I don't understand why Jordan Peterson is just fucking run for like office, he'd get elected, I'm sure, and you know that would be something. I don't know if that's a good I, I thing. I think there, he might have been at a point. I think now some people are like, he cries a lot. He cries a little <laughs> too much. He cries a lot. He's a little. He's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, and he's constantly. on all kinds of like SSRIs now. You Is know that what I mean? why? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah there was a whole thing. A bit, yeah. There was uh, a thing where he got like bad on on like Xanax or something like that. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah I'm like, I'm like, hey man, make your bed. That's what I said. Yeah. Seriously. Fucking bed, Jordan. You know. Yeah. Is it? Was he like huge in Canada? Yep. Yeah. So my brother is like a massive fan like green Your brother's guy. the bro yeah he's yeah, like he's yeah. always he's always quoting him dude right at the office like shut the fuck up with this jordan peterson he's like no you know he said this and he said that and he's like <laughs> yeah. misquoting jordan peterson all the fucking oh, time 100 it's like yeah. take any of the advice then please. <laughs> <laughs> for god's sakes take any of the yeah. advice yeah he normally does what josh is doing for us oh yeah, he's yeah chill. So he, yeah. We, we had dinner yeah yeah oh, last that's, time right. Was that's right oh yeah i left the day before that's right i keep Bummer. leaving the day before fuck I'm missing all it's the like wife shit. stuff though no it's 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 just is it I mean, I, I don't know. Sometimes I guess it is. Tomorrow's gig, but like I have a history. Usually gig. I have a history of leaving the day before everything. Day before Blaine. Day before Copperfield. Chris Rock, Copperfield. Mr. Beast. Uh, Dobrik. Dobrik. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's. A, I've invited you to probably like a dozen things that you're yeah. like. 
I can't, man. I got this really cool gig in fucking Rochester, yeah. <laughs> and I really got to be there. And I'm like, cool, but like, it's fifteen hundred cash bucks. Yeah, but also, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's American. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're like, well, yeah, but Mr. Beast has got a briefcase, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we don't know what could happen. You yeah. know, oh, was he cool? Jimmy, yeah, he's super cool. He's definitely on the spectrum. Uh, yeah, he's not an eye contact guy. No, definitely not. And like, I I gave him a hug, which was weird. He didn't like that. But uh, really, yeah, we were. I was. We were doing. It's it, funny because I was be funny uh, to hear Mr. Beast screech. Yeah. <laughs> it would be really funny to hear Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast just like start banging yeah. his head against the wall. That's just like, how he talks in real life. He's like, "Hey, how's it going today? <laughs> we're going to take a shit." You're like, "Whoa, calm down." <laughs> <laughs> Subtitles. Like, how are you doing that? Yeah, just popping up. Did, did you letters. just hug him and he went, "I don't like that." Yeah. No, his team told me. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, "He doesn't like that." <laughs> don't touch. They Mr. offered Beast. ten thousand dollars to let go. <laughs> Last one. Last to take their hand off Mr. Beast because ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and guys, before we get going, don't touch Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's like, I oh, doesn't like that. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like, oh, I see. it seemed like the appropriate moment. You know, we we're saying bye and everything. And, yeah. Uh, no, I got an email. No, I didn't get an email, but <laughs> it was funny. No, we, were, we were just hanging out. We were a bowling after we did a video. I did a video of Beast Got Talent, which is like uh, me and two buddies were doing magic, and like he gave us like ten grand, whatever it was. Sick. Uh, and he had seven million followers at the time, which was a lot. He was yeah. still crushing it. You know, I have seven million now. Sick, you know, and he's at two hundred and twenty million. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's insane. Holy fucking he gets, shit! Dude. Yeah, he gets like half a billion views or whatever it is, right? But uh, we were, we were doing this thing, and then afterwards we go bowling. He's like, Jimmy likes bowling. I was like, cool. You know, it's a quirky tism thing, mm-hmm. right? So I was like, nice. We go bowling, we do magic and everything. And he's having the time of his life. He's literally lighting up like this. He's smiling, laughing, watching the magic, and his team comes up and he's like, we've never seen Jimmy like this. Hmm. We've never seen him this happy. And that's where I was like, hey man, good to be here. And that's where he was like, nah. This is a sex Jimmy tape I like want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> he did, he, if he, he did dropped a sex tape, me, I would like it. He's got a good sense of humor because he was on Kill Tony yeah. Uh, yeah. for the HEB show. Which I thought was crazy. Super crazy because instantly his- cancelable. His brand is so clean. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. The, he was scared. It's on there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. His hands were shaking. Uh, he was supposed to do a, a flip <laughs> a coin uh, or something, and he and he couldn't do it because his hand was shaking too much. And he's like, just, just let's move on. And- Jimmy, you want to wa- watch this midget puke in their own ass? <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. He's like, Dude, can I give him a million dollars? I know they the do it for free. <laughs> you paying people? They do for exposure. Yeah. Don't worry. If I happen to drop their Instagram, they'll get 60 followers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, like, uh, after that, he goes, um, so I, I go I go to get, like, beers and stuff at this little spot, you know, in the in the bowling alley. And these two kids come up, and they're like, oh, my God, are you Chris Ramsey? And I'm like, yeah, what's up, yeah? And they're like, can we get a picture? I was like, yeah, of course, you know? I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, because yeah. back then I might have had like maybe one or two million followers, but it like it was still like really yeah. cool to be recognized. Get out. And I was like, cool, cool, take a picture. And I come back and I'm like feeling pretty good. And I bring the beers. And he goes, uh, and literally, this is the coldest thing that's ever happened to me. He <laughs> goes, Those kids take a picture with you? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah, I gave him fifty bucks to do that. <laughs> no way, dude. Dead serious, dude. It was the most Mr. Beast thing I've ever Damn, seen. Damn, yeah. bro. And I was like, this is like just content for no reason. What are you doing? Yeah. No, we're not filming this. So funny. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he lives That's like that, dude. He crazy. lives like that. He's that guy. That's so, pretty rad. He's though. got a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His moves are just like a little more chess. Yeah, exactly. So he, he his humor is through stunts. It is. He they probably leave so much on the cutting room floor when you think about mm-hmm. it. Cause like they're filming with 95 cameras for 48 hours straight or whatever it is. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. they, and you know, these guys, you know, where do they live in, in, North in Carolina. Uh, yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, I don't know if it still is. yeah. They're like down there and they're just like, fuck it. You, you know, they're saying some off the wall <laughs> shit sometimes, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Especially yeah. like, Oh, we're not sleeping for 72 hours. The shit you're going to say on camera. I'd be yeah. terrified of, you know, give us an example of what you might say. <laughs> 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 You were screaming in your sleep last night. <laughs> oh, take that out of my ass. Yeah. We're in Japan. We really should have got one bed. <laughs> uh, Wes waking up in the middle of the night in Japan going, I'm a Japanese man. <laughs> you can't be just I was having that. a dream. You can't be held accountable for what you dream. Yeah, it's actually a Mr. B story. Oh, yeah, I was daydreaming that time. We, we, were, uh, we were coming off pretty big bender in Japan. 
And um, they party. Yeah, they party. Yeah. We party. I don't know what's in that sushi, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot it of sake. A lot, a lot of, of mercury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of mercury. And we were walking in Shinjuku, downtown Tokyo, and we bump into Carl from Mr. Beast. Whoa. Yeah. And, cool. Uh, yeah. And we're Fucking, like, I'm like, 120 million people living in Japan. Yep. Yeah. 20 of them in this fucking city. Yeah, in Tokyo. Yeah. Or the, in Japan, 120 million? Yeah. It's got to be more than that. No. Nah. Really? Yeah. I thought they hit the B. I made it wrong. No, you're way wrong. It's, anyways, yeah. I was thinking in of wrong. India. Same thing. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> anyways we, we run into him and he's like, and I was like, hey, it, you know, we both like take our masks off. Like, not that he didn't recognize it. You I'm know. still drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he goes, and I'm like, hey, man, fucking long time, you know, like whatever we did, the thing with Jimmy. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, let's get a picture. And I'm like, oh, this is Wes. Without missing a beat, Wes goes, I'm a Japanese man. Because <laughs> he's just still <laughs> drunk and like from last night. And I go, all right. And they're like, okay. And Wes is like, yep, doesn't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> Says hi. Thought he was the funniest guy in the room. Or it's, and we keep walking. I was like, hey, man, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why did you do that? And he's like, what do you mean? There's only He's been, like, dude, that kill. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's only been so like there's been a handful of times in our life where like after something happens, Chris will be like, What in the last two hours of hanging out with those people made you think they want to hear any of that? Yeah. yeah. And I'd be like, What do you mean? And then I replay it back. I'm like, oh yeah. Like, they're not yeah. the people who yeah. say that too. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, you were drunk. I yeah. 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 It's just I was, very funny. I was trying to embrace the culture, man. Yeah. yeah. I wanted in that moment yeah. to be a Japanese man. <laughs> they I was that. trying to be They actually really hate outsiders. <laughs> yeah. Like in Japan, maybe more than anywhere Absolutely. On, except that island where they're they very shoot racist. arrows at you. They're very racist towards white people. Oh, dude, they're like yeah. maybe the most conservative like modern country mm -hmm. on the planet right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, what's, what's crazy about Japan though is that you don't experience the racism mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, they're so fucking polite to your face, mm, so yeah. it works for them. Where like everything's polite, everything's clean. There's no gar there's no garbages outside. You carry your trash with you until you bring it home. Like everything's like nice and neat. And then that's kind of cool. They start fucking tanking, mm. yeah. and that's where the shit comes out. Yeah. And they're like ties loose. They're sleeping in the street. They're fucking well, yelling like, out. You're you're making um horrible like rude atrocities happening all the time. Like you're eating and you're walking and shit like this. You're not supposed to do there. Yeah. And, and you don't know because they're so nice to you. Yeah. Until later, then you find out. You're like, oh, I was just walking around being super rude all the time. Yeah. And but they would never let you know to your face. That was our experience. At least it wasn't until later that I'm like, oh wow, that was like an insane day I had. Yeah. Then, apparently. But they're even like they're so because like. They're polite, but they're also like if somebody's getting beaten in the middle of the street, like oh. over here, people just pull their phones out, which is not the best reaction to that. But uh, over there, people just literally like look straight forward. They don't even. So like I was in this, I was in the subway, and we're we're on the train coming back. It was like yeah. a long train ride, and some old lady, um, she's fucking, she's standing there, she's all hunched over. She's like 140, and there's there's a seat that opens up beside us, so. Somebody gets out. This old lady sees the seat. She's like, fuck yeah. Zones in on it. Starts hobbling over. And like, I swear to God, this chick must have been 22, 23. Mm. This fucking dumb cunt. She literally <laughs> pushes this old lady out of the like, way. Yeah. Right? Literally yeah, goes yeah, yeah. and sits down and looks straight forward. Doesn't look at any. And everybody sees this and just kind of goes back to their phones. I like this. And the lady's like, she looks at me. Tattooed gaijin guy who looks super scary. Like, I'm like. Take my seat. So I get yeah. up and give her my seat. No one else reacted. I'm I like, was going to give her mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, she was, she was looking yeah, at Wes was like already. pretending to sleep the whole time. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I, yeah. Like, I mean, that girl, I'm like fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it kind of is over there, though. They, 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 they won't, like, it's polite, but also they won't get involved, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, like, in New York, that should happen. You have four people being like, yo, what the fuck? Get the fuck up. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I would be ready to yeah. attack. Yeah, at same. that point, I love getting I involved. Pissed. Like, for, like I love getting mad for virtu virtuous reasons. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Give us an example. <laughs> oh, like if I see someone, if I see someone, um, like leave dog shit. I'll literally, from as far as possible, go, hey, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's like, such a good <laughs> phrase. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. I'm like, wild move. Like, I'm going nuts. <laughs> oh, I love doing that stuff. Or I like, um, what else do I like you to do? homeless guys, their dogs pick up after they shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love that. No, they can just, <laughs> <laughs> they can just shit in their homes. There's a. Um, uh, in in well, you wouldn't like Europe then, because like no one picks up their fucking dog shit in Europe. That's crazy. I went to Spain. First thing I did when I got out of the car, I'm looking over and I filmed it because the lady's like standing there, 
ignoring her dog, squatted over, and as soon as she was done, and I'm, I'm filming the dog shitting, because I was like, oh, it's funny, I just got to Spain, mm-hmm. hilarious little story, and then she walks away, and I was like, hey, hey, where, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? And I'm <laughs> yeah, yelling yeah, at her, yeah, yeah. ignoring me, and just, it's a normal thing to do over there, not pick up dog shit. There's also the line, like, okay, I'm big on, like, if uh, if someone doesn't say thanks when I hold the door open, I'll say, you're welcome, like, very cunty. <laughs> <laughs> Without fail, it's like a, it's a, it's going to happen. You've done this to regardless. me. Regardless. <laughs> 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 he remembers. That's a, that's a fact. That's it hits home. It. You did it's good. Yeah. I'm glad you did Oh, no, that. yeah, for sure. I go, hey, no problem. And, uh, but then there's the line of like that YouTube shot. You go like, shot. you're welcome. Yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. Oh no, I do it more like, yeah, great job. <laughs> I'm like, really, I'm, I try to, uh, refrain from being passive aggressive and just mm-hmm. jump to aggressive. Right. Yeah. So I make the point and then if they turn around to confront me, then I just make direct eye contact and stand by how I feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no like. Yeah, thanks. And then I run away. Yeah. I'm prepared to have this conversation. That's so funny. Yeah. I like holding the door for someone who's a little too far for me to hold the door for, <laughs> and then they have to speed up. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. like, and they're clearly 20 feet away, and they're like, oh, they have to start like mildly jogging to the door. <laughs> when I, It annoys me. When I see that happen to me, someone's got the door, I like look at them, and then I, later I veer off and go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I actually, I don't know how cool this was, but I, uh, I actually threw a punch at a human for the first time in probably like seven years. Wait, when did this happen? What was her name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. A what g- did she say? Yeah. Dude, did it she was. Uh, it? it was a comic during a basketball game. Oh wow! And it got there. And what happened was they kept calling fouls. Essentially, both teams were united in that it was kind of egregious the amount of fouls that were being called. Sure. They felt singled out. They got really. They felt like everyone was against them. Right. And they were in a kind of sensitive position. Yeah. Some fouls, I'm sure, were legitimate. Some it was just like, all right, dude, we're just Flagrant. playing we're just playing pickup basketball. Yeah. Like it's enough. As a bit, someone passed this person in question the basketball. And as soon as it touched their hand, I was like, foul. Just as it just, you know uh, what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. And tensions were already high. And yeah. And I hadn't been involved from the jump. I was just like kind of innocently bystanding. Yeah. Maybe instigating a bit, but really trying to make light of it. Sure. And then the next play, that person set a moving pick and oh. bopped me hard, uh. like right down the middle. And my gut reaction was, I literally went up directly into them and I go, no, I will fight. And I, I was crazy. I just instantly wow. went insane. Whoa. And they started going like, oh, really? Like, are we going to do this? And then just to prove it, at about... 65% strength. I just punched them in the sternum. <laughs> what what step is that? An AA. <laughs> That's the one two step. <laughs> the Conor McGregor. <laughs> That's more less of a step, more of a combo. <laughs> but, Good for you, man. Fuck them. That's I'd do that. I'd do Punching the sternum is a wild move because it's like non-committal. Yeah, <laughs> you're like you couldn't quite so commit to the face. They 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 were willing to like get in when I got in, and I was there to prove like that's not what's going to happen right because i will punch like i'll just be a mental case yeah he'll just start wailing on the guys it's the closest i've gone to like really losing it i I lost it you know i mean that was throwing a physical punch and it sucks losing it during a basketball game well the problem was was that kind of everyone was on my side Uh, so i so then i was like we broke it up yeah they stepped away they recognized they were dealing with a not well person yeah yeah we continued playing the game and then they're then they were like, you know, I, I'm not going to dox a person, but very funnily, the next play, just in the middle of it for no reason, they go, you know what? I'm clearly not wanted here. <laughs> and they walked away. Wow. God and damn. then I was like, that's a shitty feeling. Yeah. So I went over, made amends, apologized, took ownership. At one point when we were broken up. I, like someone was like kind of pulling me back. I was like, "Remember, you were the first one to get physical." And then <laughs> someone, someone like kind of not it's like projected. There was no like dog pull, but like someone just got in the way. Yeah, they went over, and I was like, "That's shitty. I hate that feeling, and I know it. And it's yeah. like I don't want them to feel that way, and I feel bad for contributing to it." I took ownership. I went. I brought them back in. Like I was, they were cooling down, 
And then the person who like kind of initially got into it with them, who they kept calling fouls against, who was like starting to get really ghetto with it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. I was like, yo, give him. It was really funny. I was like, yo, go give him a hug. And he goes, why, dude? <laughs> I was like, just do it, dude. Let's play basketball. He's feeling shitty. He doesn't need to feel shitty. So he called a few fouls. Like yeah. for a moment was ladylike. Not a big deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. But I was just reminiscing on that. I was like, God damn, I threw a punch at a human. Like, damn. what the... F like, I used to love fighting as, like, a child, but it's mental illness, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like... When I was 12, we were playing a basketball game, and uh, and we lost in the finals, and I, I, I felt like I was, you know, fucking fouls like crazy or whatever. We go to shake hands with the other team, and... We're all shaking hands. We've just lost this game out of nowhere. I sucker punched their best player. He thinks we're shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> right in the gut. You're such a but dick. I'm as hard as I can. As soon as my, my hand's like here coming around, and I and I instantly regret this, right? Yeah. And so when I hit him, boom, I flop so hard. <laughs> So he's down, he's crying. I'm on the ground crying. What a bench. wild, bitchy little move. <laughs> yeah. Holy bench is clear. Fuck. Stands You're clear. Such a little bitch. The parents Dude. are fighting each other. They're yelling, and they're like, he threw the first punch. I saw him hit him first. Yeah. And people are remembering. And you they're remembering this guy hitting me. Never happened. Yo. And I was like, punching someone. Punching someone and flopping immediately <laughs> is <laughs> the Bro. Fucking wildest thing. Project it Human works. Shield. Dude. Crazy. <laughs> we we had, apologize to each other. We uh, we I'm once had a game like that where we had a fucking like refs were clearly on the other team's side. Like we go up and like just for fun, I go to pretend to like uh, stop like block uh -huh. the right. He's going for a shot. I go like this and I fake. They whistle. Yeah. They call me on a foul. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I didn't touch him. I, yeah. I pretended. Yeah. yeah. Just as like a point. And they call it like attack or something. Yeah. At the end of the game, a, a buddy of mine on the team, he just spit in his hand and we were going to shake each other's hand. And it just broke out doing all that. Because at the end, we're like, what the fuck is this? And we just started like wailing on each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're just supposed to get so calm, petty. not spit. Yeah. So petty. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, I was Canadian basketball. I yeah. love the idea of you. <laughs> I love the idea of you sucking you a guy. Basket. <laughs> but I need these baskets back. <laughs> <laughs> James Naismith <laughs> reference for those, uh, um, you know, pretty nice. Know. I I like the idea of you socking a dude in the oh. stomach at 12 years old and then doing like the LeBron, like you're too small. Down here, down here, dude. Down here, you know, like ice in my veins, dude. What the hell? Yeah. That's a crazy move that I used to like talk about on stage of like when they do this after yeah. they hit a three. I'm like, that's like shooting heroin. What yeah. are you talking about? Like yeah. people would hit a three and be like, ooh, like this. I'm like, yep. that's like a H reference. You yep. guys are yeah. crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I never even put that together. Yeah, I feel like they do in baseball too, like with like signs and stuff, don't they? Also, yeah, mm. <laughs> a lot of cheating in baseball as yeah. well. I hear these days, hey, yeah, there's a, a lot, a lot of that stuff. Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Of that. <laughs> the Dusty Slay has got a whole. <laughs> yeah, I'm a goddamn third base yeah, coach over here. <laughs> when he's like, he's like, yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah. having a good time and doing yeah, all this the stuff. Best. Yeah, that's when you started wearing hats and glasses after you saw that. I've been wearing hats and glasses. No, 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 no. I knew I was going to lose my hair eventually, so I've been playing the long game. Mm -hmm. Not like you, idiot. Dude, you're going to look like a fool wearing a hat in That's three years. Right. If eventually... <laughs> if eventually... <laughs> like, why are you covering up? I'm playing the long game, dude. I'm not dumb. Why don't we do it? Why don't we all go to Turkey? Yeah. We make it, have some fun, get some contact. Yeah. Chris pays. All day. <laughs> yeah. I'm saving up either way. But I'm putting 50 bucks aside every week because uh, I think it's like three Gs now. Three yeah. to five Gs for bad. a good job. Yeah, man. Do you ever and see, I, the, you ever see the, the airports? Yeah, and it's just all dots. <laughs> just like swollen heads all everywhere. Dots. Dots. Dude, it's like it's crazy. Everybody's wearing headbands. Yeah. It's wild. But I would do and then and then we return to the pod all dotted up. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we kind of right. stand in solidarity. Yep. It's not like a cancer thing. It was like, well, he got the hair replacement surgery just to show that I support I got the hair replacement <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the opposite. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> uh, think about it. <laughs> I was just thinking about this. It's so we're funny. all gonna grow hair in solidarity versus <laughs> shaver heads. So funny that I've like patted myself on the back of this. We were like I love like hope core on TikTok. TikTok and all this stuff and like when, when they reveal that they've like shaved their head like when yeah. one of their friends or a family gets cancer that like that thing I'm like in bed with my girlfriend I'm crying watching this and I'm like I would shave my head so fast if someone <laughs> just like yeah. hypothetically yeah. patting yeah. myself on the back yeah. about how quickly I'd shave my head for like anybody yeah. <laughs> like yeah I I, uh, I thought about it once and then I was like nah I'm, that's stupid what is that <laughs> <laughs> what is that what am I proving I was it a close person yeah but I was like just, that's not gonna <laughs> They're just gonna look dumb, <laughs> and then you're like, they'll be fine. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, yeah. They're, or not, whatever. I'll, I'll be, I'll be fine. I remember, I remember hearing Joe. Well, Rogan. then what if they die, and then I'm bald? It's like now I look like an yeah. idiot. Yeah, <laughs> now everybody thinks I have cancer. Yeah. That's not what I want. 
I'm not trying to steal valor from cancer patients. And then patients. it's that uncomfortable conversation. It's like, oh, yeah. do you have cancer? No, my friend did. And they're yeah. like, oh, how was he doing? It's like, ah, yeah. not so good. He was, he was getting too much attention. I want to steal valor for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone, everyone was giving that person a little too much attention. I was like, I feel like I need some attention. Yeah. yeah. Just Bic razoring every morning. Yeah. <laughs> That is wild. Uh, let's keep the party going over on Patreon. Yeah, you down to sit that, a bit? Another Absolutely. half hour in here, right, yeah. 45 minutes. Let's cook it up. Try to, try to cut it short, boys. We got mm. we got gifts we got to open over there from uh, some of the fans, and we got a lot more to talk about. Yeah. That's how I'm pitching it. All right, yeah. That's a pretty good pitch, right? Cut off the fun and jump to more fun later. Cool. It's also, we're in a fun place right That's now. I don't, I don't see the fun falling down to right me personally. Now. No, no yeah. it's going to be great. No, it's only going to go. We'll just uh, tell three friends, thanks for coming out, and um, see you on the next one. See ya. Right? Yep. Peace, boys. Yes. Oh, Nat Doc Comedian. Oh shit! shit. Yeah. No, Wait. Let's, let's take this back. Let's take this back yeah, a second. We run that Nat, back. where can they find you? Where can uh, they? Nat Doc Comedian on Instagram. I don't know where this is coming out, but for any Austin listeners, I'm headlining the Velveeta Room March 29th. A uh, oh, bunch yeah. of homies are going to be there. It's going to be a really fun show. This camera, that camera, this camera. Yep. Um, Nat Doc Comedian on Instagram. That's kind of where all my shit is right now. I've been saying this since the last pod. TikTok's coming soon. <laughs> YouTube's coming Dude, soon. Dude, everybody's looking forward to the TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same stuff, different format. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah we just really, vertical now. We really yeah. fucked you off the top. We didn't say <laughs> shit about. It. We didn't even. We got your this. links below. That's we true. got yeah, you. Okay. We hooked you up. Oh yeah, they'll look if they want to. But you, you <laughs> guys, it, yeah. I mean, if you're this far, you guys know that Nat's a fucking a good a good dude, and you guys want to see him. You guys definitely want to see him live. He crushes on stage. Fact. Come down to Austin, or if he's anywhere near you, look him up and check the dates. Or hire them to perform in your living room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be you at the Riot Fest in Houston Hell beginning yeah. of Sick. April. And uh, and I'm in Houston this weekend. I don't think it'll be coming on time, but what's up, boys? Yeah. All right. Bottom of the barrel. Hey. Bottom of the barrel. Hey. Where we always hey. feel so tall. Bottom of the barrel.